France is the biggest consumer of medicine in Europe, and every year 500 new drugs are poured into the French market. But before they make their way into our medicine cabinet, they have all been tested by human guinea pigs who loan their body to science. Today, half the clinical trials done by Western countries are being conducted in emerging markets. For the last five years, Argentina, with a population of 41 million, has become the favorite destination for the big pharmaceutical companies. In Santiago del Estero, one of the poorest rural provinces of Argentina, the British lab GSK has tested on thousands of babies the drug Synflorex, a new vaccine against meningitis, otitis, and pneumonia. Susanna and her husband go once a month to the graveyard, where their son Louis is buried. He was one of the 14,000 children used as guinea pigs by the major British lab. They have no other option than to go to the public hospital for free health care. Even if they didn't get paid for the clinical trial, it was a great opportunity for them to have a free vaccine for their newborn, but it turned into a nightmare. Dozens of families have reported similar irregularities during the protocol. In January 2012, four years after the end of the trials, GSK was condemned by the government of Argentina for unethical conduct, never heard of before in Argentina. Y es el que dicen ustedes que sale de la nación, de la multa del laboratorio. Susana signed this contract with GSK without fully understanding what it was about. cantidad de papeles que no íbamos a leer, lo lógico ahí. Ellos te explicaban, estaban una doctora, una, no sé si, qué sé, qué será que habrá sido, una asistente social, no sé, que nos explicaba más o menos lo que decía el papel. GSK conducted its trials in that clinic. These images were taken in 2008 for a national TV show that was cancelled the day it was due to be broadcast. Enrique Smith, who works for JSK, was in charge of the trials and also happens to be the brother of the Minister of Health. He denies the existence of any unethical conduct. His interview hasn't been released yet. Quien acepta prestar consentimiento o no, pasa privadamente a ser leído el consentimiento, que es como un librito donde se, se les explica absolutamente todo se les entrega copia para que la puedan leer y si no quieren firmar hoy, firman mañana, si la quieren consultar. Y de hecho, hemos tenido como en todos los estudios clínicos, madres que luego de leer el consentimiento han dicho no. Y hemos tenido madres que han dicho que sí, que han confiado en que esto es algo positivo. Y siempre en presencia de un testigo independiente. So the doctors and nurses didn't put any pressure on mothers. 
Claro. Absolutamente. Mire, eh, eh, si hay cosa que más reñida con la ética es precisamente esto. Acá hay un comité institucional de ética que controla totalmente todas estas cosas. The lab has also recruited children and medical staff from the hospital Eva Perón, where the pediatrician Leandro Gamba works. He has been approached by GSK, but he refused to take part in the trials and even fought to have them stopped. Eh, perseguían a la gente, eh, digamos, los iban a buscar a la casa exclusivamente por el tema del protocolo. Les daban un teléfono celular a gente que no tenía cómo llamar a un teléfono celular si tenían un problema de salud, porque en el protocolo estaba estipulado que si el chico que estaba vacunado que estaba dentro del protocolo, tenía un problema de salud, tenía que llamar a ese celular para que venga el médico a verlo o indicarle qué hacer o a dónde ir. The doctors who agreed to conduct those trials on behalf of the lab tripled their monthly salary. Apparently they received $400 for each child that they recruited. Lo que me deprime es que médicos argentinos se presten a esas cosas y que se dejen convencer, a veces por dinero, a veces porque están convencidos, de que lo que hacen es realmente beneficioso para la gente. El investigador trabaja en el hospital público, toma del hospital público los pacientes, utiliza sus recursos y cobra él para su bolsillo. Eso es una barbaridad. Cuando una investigación se hace en un hospital público, el dinero tiene que ir al hospital. En 2011, aproximadamente 350 clinical trials were conducted throughout the country, and the trend is increasing. Lower costs, shorter deadlines to recruit staff, large concentration of patients who have the same characteristics as Europeans. A real bargain for the big players in the pharmaceutical industry. Seven years ago, the French lab Sanofi Aventis even set up offices in a residential neighborhood of Buenos Aires. They refused to answer our questions. In order to conduct clinical trials in record time and at lower cost, some Western labs outsource to outside providers called CROs. Pero Contra Research Organization es la organización que desarrolla todo lo que son buenas prácticas clínicas, establece eh, lo que es el estudio de factibilidad, startup, desarrollo y finalización de un estudio. La mayoría de nuestros clientes están basados en Europa, eh, en eh, Alemania, eh, Francia y Suiza. Eh, y también trabajamos para compañías en Estados Unidos. Quieren algo que sea eficiente y rápido en cuanto a lo que son las aprobaciones, quieren tener un buen eh, reclutamiento porque necesitan los datos pronto para registros o, o para presentar a las agencias que les piden hacer las farmacovigilancias. Eh, pero también quieren estar tranquilos y no meterse en, en problemas este, con gente que por ahí no está formada ni tiene la, la, la experiencia de hacer investigación. These Argentinian or foreign facilitators are paid by the labs and deal with every step of the process. They recruit the doctors and the patients, conduct the clinical tests, and sometimes even provide themselves the results to their clients. The labs are then in charge of handling the trial reports. Acá, en la, más de la mitad de las investigaciones en la Argentina se hacen con CRO. Entonces, ¿qué es lo, qué es lo que ha ocurrido? El fenómeno es que eh, la investigación, en la medida en que... Eh, hay denuncias en la medida que hay problemas, los laboratorios no quieren tener la responsabilidad directa de eh, las consecuencias legales. Entonces contratan a las CRO, que son tercerizadas de investigación. Bueno, las CRO, como todas las tercerizaciones, ¿no? en general tienen menos controles, tienen que tomar dineros más, tienen dineros más rápidos, tratan de siempre de esconder la responsabilidad del laboratorio que paga la investigación. The CRO revenues went through the roof with 65 million dollars in 2010 and a yearly increase of 9%. It is very easy for them to recruit patients because the whole country has shifted to a two-tier healthcare system. On the one hand, the richest segment of the population can afford these private clinics, supermodern that look like five-star hotels. On the other hand, one third of the population, which is about 12 million people, 
depend on free health care at the public hospitals, which are crowded and mostly equipped for emergencies. So, in order to have access to a better treatment, many accept to serve as human guinea pigs. Miriam is suffering from a rare genetic disease that can cause life-threatening edema if a crisis occurs. Four years ago, she took part in a test on behalf of a German lab. With her health care plan, Miriam has access to another drug that is less efficient and much more expensive. The other participants who have no health care plan have access to none. However, according to international ethical practices, it is forbidden to test a drug on patients if they don't have access to it afterwards. In Argentina, there are some ethical committees designed to provide a legal framework to medical research on humans. But Argentina is a federal state, and the healthcare system is not centralized. Juan Carlos Tialdi, doctor and president of the Ethics Committee of one of the major hospitals in Buenos Aires, struggles every day to synchronize the current practices. No hay un organismo nacional que regule la, la revisión ética y de las investigaciones médicas y que pro, proteja a los seres humanos que participan en investigaciones médicas. No le hay. No hay ley, no hay organismo nacional, no, no hay un control de las investigaciones que se hacen en toda la provincia. Cada provincia hace lo que quiere en este país. Eh, se aprueba o no se aprueba en una provincia, va a la otra. Un comité de ética no lo aprueba, van al otro comité de ética a que se realice. And in the Santiago del Estero province, the families of the victims pay the price of this legal loophole. They are alone, up against GSK, one of the most powerful pharmaceutical companies in the world. Like Susana and Oscar, Alvajo has also lost his three-month-old baby during the trials for Sinflorex. For the last five years, he has been fighting to know the truth. Este es una tela, uno de los carteles que lo utilizamos para cuando realizamos las marchas. Y las marchas las realizamos de ahí de la Plaza Libertad hasta el Hospital de Niños. GSK has finally been condemned to pay the ridiculous sum of $90,000 to the Argentinian government for failure to respect the ethical codes. But the families receive no compensation. Worse even, they still haven't received the explanation for the deaths of these 14 babies. At the time the scandal broke, many lawyers got involved in the story. But they gradually shied away under the pressure from the lab and from the authorities, leaving the families without any support. Over time, a deadly silence has fallen over Santiago del Estero. Miguel Torres is among one of the only ones left on the case. To the poor families, his answer is still the same. Eh, bueno, doctor, y a partir, digamos, de, de la imputación de, de, de los médicos, ¿cómo seguían los pasos de ahí? Está un poco lenta aquí la justicia en esta causa. No se ha determinado, el chiquito estaba enfermo, salía de una, de, con un problema respiratorio y se le ha aplicado la vacuna cuando realmente no correspondía. La vacuna, vos sabés que es un virus. No sabemos si, su, si era la vacuna en sí o, o un placebo, por lo cual estamos tratando y yo creo que la justicia está tratando de determinar eh, exactamente bien cómo se han dado y sucedido los hechos. GSK rejects any responsibility for the death of the babies. As far as the lab is concerned, they died of their illnesses. Seguimos lo mismo. No tenemos ninguna respuesta. Todo sigue igual. A los chicos lo mató el protocolo, es decir, el descuido para atenderlos cuando tenían complicaciones, el reclutamiento ilegal, las amenazas a los chicos más pobres de quitarle los planes sociales si no iban, la violación del consentimiento informado, la violación del testigo independiente, es decir, todo lo que es las normas que se aprobaron en el Sinqui eh, fueron violadas. Despite the doctor's pressure, Susana refuses to have her other children vaccinated. But Simflorex was approved in 2012 by the Argentinian government and is now even required for all children. Simflorex has been authorized in Europe and it sells now in over 90 countries. However, the compliance to the international ethics is supposed to be compulsory before releasing a medicine. During the last five years, clinical trials have dropped by 25% in Europe and are now being carried out in emerging countries. In July 2012, the European Commission made a proposal to make the rules more flexible 
in order to boost European competitiveness and to regain control over the trials that were being carried out outside of Europe. These new rules should come into force in 2016.